Hello my dear listeners my name is Kishor Ganesh and in this episode of the Vocal Abroad Visions podcast I'll be reviewing a Japanese film that I had the opportunity to watch for free called Wonderwall as part of the online version of the annual Japanese film festival organized by the Japan Foundation you can watch this and other films as part of phase 1 of this festival that runs till March 15th Don't worry if you can't watch all of them though because the next phase starts from March 15th and goes on till June 15th. Link to the website is in the description of this podcast and from one film nerd to another which you most likely are if you're listening to this pod you're welcome. Pandaval is written by Watanabe Aya and is directed by Yuki Maeda. Wonderwall is a story based on true events that is set in the ancient city of Kyoto. In this film, university students call an ancient dormitory called the Konerio dormitory their home, but home in the emotional context, a place where they belong, a place where they fit in, a place which accepted them with open arms. Yes, that's the word, acceptance. They have all searched for acceptance all their lives and here they found a place that accepted them and they accepted it. It doesn't matter if it is chaotic, messy, disorderly, just like any other student dormitory would. This is more than just a dorm though. It is a dorm where generations of students, quote, grew up, unquote, into adults. It is not just a temporary shelter that protects them from the elements. It is home. it is also a symbol of resistance against soulless progress that threatens to destroy a living breathing ecosystem or at least progress is how it is sold to everyone like everything else if you look at it it comes down to money and a mindless heartless quote problem solver unquote who is tasked with solving a problem that has persisted for decades the problem of not being able to shift students out of a dusty dormitory when the protagonists of the story who are the students of the dorm come up against this problem solver who is not one person but the system what they do to face this nameless faceless opponent is what this film is about the writer aya watanabe and director meda yuki have superbly captured all the emotions that, that I have mentioned previously in scenes that feeling of loneliness a feeling of belonging the fear of losing your love all the insecurities and thrills that one experiences while going through the transformation from kid to adult all the feelings that are strongest during the days that one spends in college this is at the human level a level removed from the human they also have managed to offer social commentary on how easily money can come in and uproot and destroy structures places and ways of life at the most basic level this is about a dorm that is dear to the students extend the line further and you can make this argument about gentrification or push it even further ecological destruction caused by agriculture and mining this is a film that if you are a certain kind of person you will end up classifying as trivial or childish a non understanding of how life is supposed to be lived but if you have managed to keep that gentle thing called a soul alive in you you will understand and appreciate just what this film is about i highly recommend watching this film for free on the jff plus website before march 15th if you are a japanophile like me I don't think you need any more convincing past this. Once again, my name is Kishore Ganesh. This is the Vocal About Visuals podcast and thank you my dear listeners for your time and for listening. Please do consider giving this podcast a follow on your preferred podcast platforms and on YouTube. It will be really appreciated if you can rate and review the podcast on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Thank you.